What are you in the mood for? I was thinking. Well, go Danny ahead. You or were impulsive. telling me we had so much to do here, so. Denny or impulsive or oh my gosh, we should do this one little because it's funny. Which one? Trisha calling out Philip DeFranco. Okay, we can do that. We got some time for some little ones. And then I think that we should do those ones. And then if we have more time, then we can go back to the election streams of like Lady. Well, I think we should do election stuff because this is the time. This is the time to do it. This is what's on people's mind. People are sitting at home worrying about who's going to be president. I don't know if they're into... But oh. I d- oh, well, I just didn't want... If someone wasn't into the election, not everyone's from America. I, was, I just didn't th- want to make it a full... Not day. everyone's from America. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. Who's not from America? Show yourselves. You sneaking in? Illegal. You know, I but consider... You. When I see somebody from another race, I consider them to be illegal. Like when I, we're at the grocery store, I'll run and jump. I'll push a Mexican down to the floor and he'll go, what are you doing? I say, I go... Shut the fuck up! You're gonna get caught. Because why am I gonna? I go. Obviously, you're illegal. You're gonna get caught. I'm here to save you. He goes. I'm not illegal. I've been here my whole life. Oh yeah. All right. Well, maybe we should do impulsive because a lot of people want that. Okay. And then so do that first, and then do some more election stuff after. Yeah, sure. We've got uh, tons of stuff. I mean, we'll probably be here for ten hours. Uh, let's do this. What happened on the last impulsive? Here because this was big. We had Lana Rhodes breaking up with Hey Big Mike. Big internet incident. We're going to hear from him today. They also uh, they gave some takes on the election here. Did they vote? No. They did not vote. <laughs> wow, yeah. They didn't post with an I voted They sticker. also, That's did you sus. know that uh, one of the hidden secrets about this election is that everybody's voting no to prop. What's the prop that got gay people married? 22. No, oh. what's the prop that got gay people married? I don't know. Whatever that prop was, they're voting no to reverse that now. And it actually, the results are in here, right? People, this is, so much was going on, they didn't want to talk about this. So it's reversed. Now, officially, we've got the results here. Gay people no longer allowed to associate with each other. So forget marriage. They've taken that off the thing. It's reversed. There's no gay people holding hands. They said, if you see it, report it, and they'll lock them up to clean this up because it's... Frankly, it's sick. Okay, go ahead. What do we got here for Impulsive? This is going to be good. Okay. Um, Let me see what we should start with. Okay, well, maybe we should do this tiny little Big Mike intro that I had for the last show. This is before him and Lana broke up. This is great. So what time code should I go to Um, You can go to that one. We can skip most of it, but I think you should go to 109.45. Okay, 109.45. And what's Big Mike, who's a very important figure today? We're going to be bothering him uh, tremendously. 109.45. Now, this is my favorite part about Big Mike is when he gets poetic about things, and here's him getting poetic about the state of California. This is really wild. As we all know, people are fleeing California. They want a a more red state. They don't like California. Too many taxes. They don't want to pay the taxes. Uh, Too many rules. They want to go out. They want to party. So they're moving, man. They're moving to red states. You know, they're really uh, doing it up. But not Big Mike. Big Mike is not going to flee the city. He is L.A. Listen to his description of California. Might make you sick. I like the fact that you can do anything and everything. There's no mm-hmm. excuse Enjoy. in, in mm-hmm. L.A. Because everywhere else you can say, well, if I was there, I could do it. Yeah. If I was in this city, I could do this. But L.A., like, you can do. You can hike. You can snowboard. You can surf. You can do entertainment. You can be a lawyer. You can this. be a, a work in a hospital. You can literally I listen mean, to this. Folks. Pick something. I should it. read the thing. I can, or I'll just summarize well, it. We, I just, I posted this story on my Instagram yeah. the other day about California and what makes it special yeah. because there's a mass exodus going on right now. Everyone's, a, everyone's leaving. Joe Rogan's leaving. Mm. Ben Shapiro's leaving. Who else? So that's, that's pretty. So that's, pre- about- so, that's, so that's pretty much everybody. And I wrote, I wrote this. <laughs> I wrote this. Dude, this guy is hilarious. Where does he get this stuff? <laughs> so esoteric. I just learned that word. Esoteric. You know, Logan's the type of guy who learns the word esoteric. He uses it every five minutes. <laughs> That's esoteric, too. Hey, that plant is esoteric. We know, Logan. You just learned esoteric. <laughs> That's even esoteric. No, please. No, I don't know. Ah! I'm getting sick of this fake fucking smile of his, by the way, that he learned in con man class. 
Who taught you this smile, Gary V? Oh my God, you should see this Logan video where he goes to this guy's house and convinces him to let him buy one of his valuable Pokemon cards. And Logan turns on this like whole new sweet guy yes. personality that yes. nobody's even seen before. Not available to you. Somebody saying Kathy Griffin is back in action. I believe it. She just reposted the Trump decapitated pic. That's all she did. Okay, then lock her back <laughs> up. I can't get in. I can't. Uh, just click oh, wait. Wow. You know, last night I saw her. People get, and this is what they get, they get ramped up. You know, Kathy Griffin cried and begged to be uncanceled after she posted this Trump beheading photo four years ago, right? It ruined my life. Oh, I'm a victim. And then you get a little confidence last night with the Biden stuff. So you go ahead and repost it, the picture that destroyed the last four years of your life. You go ahead and redo it. You're a big shot now. I hope they pop you again. I hope you're so through in this industry for this. This deficit. What do they call that? A deficit. When you show a dead man's head. You know, she was getting cocky. She was one of the one. And this is again. You know, I got a secret Twitter account where I follow all the people that we talk about on the show. Thousands of them, right? I'm refreshing Twitter throughout election night. This just should be their biggest Twitter usage, right? Nobody's even tweeting. You know, it was one in the morning. You would refresh. Maybe Dave Rubin would pop in every seven minutes with his fucking gay ass shit. But nobody was even tweeting. It was weird. Like the last election, uh, 2016, the same type of thing where you go, this is your big night. Everybody should be doing all their stuff. Kind of silent. But Kathy Griffin was out last night, and you could tell she, uh, she, um, and you can see it here. She's got a little confidence now. She's getting a little cocky. She's gonna get <laughs> herself. She's gonna redo another doc about yeah, how she, she put out this whole doc. I don't know if you saw all this. Oh, she really, thing. she went through hell with this. Okay, we're going back to Big Mike. He's about to tell you what L.A. is. Have you been to California? I'm gonna take everyone there on a field trip. I love it there. You know, our goal is for everyone there to die and all the Jews to burn there. And then we're going to take it over. We're going to build this beautiful place for the all of you guys to come out and participate in California's landscape. I know you don't like the politics, but we're going to make it nice. Here's what Big Mike thinks of California. Exodus going on right now. Everyone's, a, everyone's leaving. You're going to love it. Joe Rogan's leaving. Ben Shapiro's leaving. So that's, pretty, so, that's pre about so that's pretty. So that's pretty much everybody. And I wrote. I wrote this. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote this. This, uh, Listen, this story, and and people are leaving for different reasons. Some are leaving because of the liberal values. Some are leaving because of homelessness and tax rates. But California and Los Angeles offer something that not a lot of other places do, which is this calling to people. Oh yeah. no! It's a calling that exists that says. Hey, you have a dream, and and this city is here to help you facilitate that. It and is. it's Listen. it's 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 something that that. Unless you unless you feel that uh, innately within you, uh, it's not something that a lot of people understand. They think it's a place there that you comes. can just come and go. But I, I remember the first time I got here, and this was in this what I wrote as well. Uh, I got a feeling that I never got anywhere else in my entire life. I felt um, alive. I felt like wow. being near the ocean, the palm trees, the hills. So first of all, and we haven't even gotten to the good part, but imagine telling somebody, I felt alive. I mean, what is this, Jurassic Park, the script? Shut the fuck up! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my God, when I got here, I felt so alive. For the first time, I felt alive. You heard that on a show! <laughs> All right, this isn't how people talk to like Selena Gomez talks like this. Stop it. This is that of a book. Wait till so, you hear what he says next. He's a best-selling author. He's a best-selling author. Listen to this. I was always so intrigued by the hills, by the rolling landscape. Bro, some boys from Brooklyn, my Brooklyn boys came yeah, to hang out. Yeah. We took them on the Super 73 rides, cruising around the streets, yep. up and down the hills. He's like, yo, this is crazy. I'm like, what do you mean? We're just riding bikes around the neighborhood, like, you know, boys. And they're like, no, dude, in Brooklyn, you can't do this. Right. There's there there's cops. There's not enough. Uh, there's too many people on the streets. Yep. There's no clear paths. Dude, it's you can't longboard down a giant hill in Brooklyn. <laughs> Blow my mind. Did you know in Brooklyn there isn't outside hiking and hills? Yeah, it's on the other side of the country. <laughs> Different landscape.
Wait till you see what's happening in the suicide forest. <laughs> Listen to this. This gets worse. The weather isn't nice. Like, it's insane. Succinctly, I don't know if you were going to say it, Succinctly. but you said it like this. California isn't a state. It's a state of mind. Yeah, that's what I, mean, I thought. I thought it was beautiful. I thought that's oh, a beautiful cool. little, yeah. Yeah. little summation. That. I love how I leave the one part I out. California isn't a state. It's a state of mind. And you know what? And Logan's treating him like he's the first person to ever come up with that. Well, listen to this. Now that I'm rewatching it, I thought Big Mike says this, but Logan says it. And Big Mike's like, oh, ah, fuck. No, I actually think that Big Mike's reacting because he wanted to be the one to say the state of mind. Because oh, he goes, I love how you well, said the one thing that yeah, I wanted to well, say. Yeah, well, it could either be that or he's so embarrassed that he said that to Logan in person and tried to pull one over on Logan, but he would be too embarrassed to say that in front of people. California isn't a state. It's a state of mind. <laughs> you want to hear that again? Wait, this go is... back again and then listen. And to by him. the way, Big Mike stole that from Showtime's Californication. <laughs> We're going to say it, but you said it like this. California isn't a state. It's a state of mind. Yeah, that's what I, mean, I, I thought. I thought it was yeah. beautiful. I thought that's oh, a that's beautiful cool. little, yeah. Yeah. little summation. That. I love how I leave the one part I, out. I was hoping you'd say that. You literally <laughs> fucking alley you to me. That was technically like the title of it. Of this yeah. But it's, but it's, be, it's oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess they came up with that. But no one's ever keep... thought of that before. There's actually one more good part you should keep playing. <laughs> All right, look at this. This is really unbearable, huh? It's not a state. It's a state of mind. <laughs> Think about that for a little bit, Ben Shapiro. Bet you never thought of that one before, Yamaka. Honestly, that's what it is. It's yeah. you. You don't come here to pay... 52 plus percent taxes if you're in the top bracket. Right. No, you come you here come... because you are the outcast of every yep, town that you're from. You're the no, no, no. I hope that's not the truth. You come to California because you're the outcast of everywhere. Maybe you speak for yourself, ugly. This girl, look at this. California is where all the outcasts come together. No, well, I hope not. You're ruining their state of mind. So let's hear some more. The one person in my town, I mean, I could literally count them, that, you know, left and that did something else and that is, is, and you could pinpoint me, oddly enough, you probably couldn't have guessed L.A. because How was... insulting is it that she lives in L.A. with undyed hair? I mean, is that not the most insulting thing? Go to the salon, spend six fifty, and get something going here, natural hair. Shit's oily. Greasy, you're using drugstore products, right? If you ever look like this, you're getting the beating of a lifetime. I feel like I've had that exact same hair many oh, times. Oh, yeah, in my life. <laughs> right. Marissa Booger. <laughs> if I saw a girl like this, I'd go, What's your name? Marissa? Did you ever have a girl named Marissa in school and she was so gross? There's no, no such thing as a good looking Marissa. They all look like this. Hi, I'm Marissa. You go, what are you, Jewish? Get out of here. <laughs> I was wearing sweatpants and basketball shorts and not like mm. like honing into who I was, you know. Listen but to Mike. all these kids, no, no one's Listen to Mike. here. Everyone is just, they felt not right for where they were. And so they came here. And to it be, felt right. Yeah. And it's a, and I, I, it's a home Listen. for the weirdos, for the drifters, for the dreamers, mm -hmm. for the aspiring people, for the people who think they can build something great. Yeah. Oh, and did you learn that from a little poetry book or something? <laughs> this is a home for the drifters, the dreamers, people and going to do great things for the country. The of course, it's also the home of Faze Rug. <laughs> you know, the artist like Faze Rug, he has a beautiful art collection of a Gucci key and a Drake portrait. <laughs> These are all oversized items, over $40 on stackprintstock.com. <laughs> Artists live here. And uh, there's a lot of, you know, it's, weirdly and coincidentally, the homeless problem we deal with is a result of the people who came here and didn't make it. There's a lot of the people, people that came here and had that calling to come here and be an, the next actor, be the next brand builder and, and and we're lost in the process you know yeah. and it's a uh, yo bro i too hate the homeless why can't they find residence <laughs> and do it just hit me get a house what are you doing on the streets cold at night 
Logan Paul on homeless people. All right, where There's do we go? There's one more good part. You're, you'll know when you keep hear playing it. it? Yeah. All right, look at this. It's a strange place, but Jim Morrison always said it said it the best in, in one of the songs. I forget what song it was. Um, he said, "The West is the best." <laughs> okay. <laughs> the West is the best. Lucian Wintrich knows that slant, uh, saying too. So does Gavin McInnes, <laughs> the inventor of that slogan. Big Mike who just did a George Floyd rant last week. Not against George Floyd, boy, the, by the way. Don't uh, get too excited. He just said the West is the best. You want to hear that again? <laughs> Look at this. You want to see some hate rhetoric? In the process, you know, yeah. and it's a, it's a strange place, but Jim Morrison always said it, said it the best in, in one of the songs. I forget what song it was. Um, he said the West is the best. No, get no, here. no. That is the Proud Boys. <laughs> The West is the best. Anyways, we can go to the other video now. Very funny. Like okay, there it was. So that was a little taster of where their minds are. Now, remember, Big Mike was just uh, broke up with Lana D. Rhodes. Amrot, <laughs> as they call her. So let's see. We're going to hear a little talk about the breakup coming up in this new episode. George Janko, a star. Cordial. And right. uh, we're going to fill you in on everything you need to know. Big Mike and Lana are not together. However, something fishy is going on. Uh, Big Mike and Lana fight a lot. They've gotten in a lot of these mini breakups. What I've learned over the course of the last few days is that right after their breakup, Mike made that infamous teary-eyed we broke up video immediately. I'm led to believe, and I'm going to cut to the chase here, I'm led to believe that he made this just for her. They were fighting. He said, you know what? We're done. And to prove it to you, I'm making the video. Yep, the breakup video. It's happening. It was only for her. It was only ever for her. He's thinking about getting back with her for all so he made this video. This was a separate thing for them because at the end of the day, I've gone over the, the, the facts here. There was no reason, no motivation to make this video other than to go, you see that, Lana? Keep your distance. It's officially over. I've made the video. Imagine if you had to make a video every time you and your girlfriend got into a fight. A video for everyone to see. Oh, kill me. All right, I let's see. I can go to 10.50. 1050, we're going to hear about the breakup for the first time. You guys excited? And yes. uh, remember, Mike, is, what's so good about Impulsive is these guys are contractually forced to podcast, even if their life's in the gutter, in the shitter. They have to. Oh, my God. Logan got a <laughs> thinning surgery here. Yes, he shaved his beard. Have you ever seen a guy this thin? Look at that. That's as thin as he's ever been. Look at this guy. This guy could pick a lock. He's so thin. All right, let's see this. They're forced to tell their most embarrassing stories. Watch this. You know what I said about that? I'm going to give a give a commentator role a go. I might not be good at it. And look what happened. Fantastic. One of the best in the biz. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, how are you doing after that breakup? Oh, wow. Let's talk about it, I wow. guess. Are you okay? I'm fucking good, bro. Like, oh! Hey, how was your breakup that just happened yesterday that you made a video that 9 million people... I'm fucking good! I mean, I don't know why anyone wouldn't think I'm amazing. <laughs> After my public porn... Yo, bro, that is cap if I ever knew the top. <laughs> I am a no cap guy now. Even if the pop goes flat, no cap. Well... What a bar. That should be a new song. Even if the pop, French Montana, even if the pop go flat, no cap. Even if the pop go flat, no cap. Not around here. We tell it like it is, except for all the lies we do. <laughs> you know, it's like these guys who say no cap commit the most lies yeah. out of anybody ever. Everything they do is a lie. <laughs> like a rapper lies about 50 times a day. This is a rapper when a cop comes around. Hey, are you doing anything wrong? No, officer. I ain't never broken. I'm breaking 50 or 60 laws. <laughs> Arrest me. Nah, you're a rapper. No cap, no cap. I was telling the truth. Except ever. Okay. 
Sure, rappers. French Montana. So Mike is feeling better than ever after his breakup. <laughs> That's so esoteric. Uh, yeah, how are you doing after that breakup? Oh, wow. Let's talk about it, I guess. Let's talk about it. Are you okay? I'm fucking good, bro. <laughs> like, you know? Was it, um, how did you? Up, by the way, I haven't even seen the video. The video? I love how he said I haven't seen the video. Well, you made it, Mike. So Mike made a breakup video called We uh. Broke Up. 3.2 million views. You should break up with girls more often. Those, are, those pretty good views. First time trending on YouTube. Top 10. Top 10 trending. It's wow. a shame because now you're incentivized to fabricate relationships on YouTube. That's why people do oh, it. Oh, are you money man? <laughs> oh, bro. Did you say trending? That mean I laugh for money. When I see a trending opportunity, I laugh for money. You should get in a relationship and break up for the trend. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, did I say too much? <laughs> Gary V told me it would be bountiful. Okay. <laughs> if there's an opportunity to make money, I lie. Whoops, did I just say what I do? You know, no. All right, so look at this. Right? How think, despicable, huh? Right? Yeah, I think Is that I, what you did? I also took, I didn't, okay. but I took right the back. night shift out of the title and it was real simple. We broke up. I think it, it, <laughs> it's a night shift. I, we broke up. Yeah, I couldn't do that. But there's been there's been so many. Uh, <laughs> Their audio is still bad. There's been so many good Roy night Chanko. shift episodes about fun and like pleasing exercises. Like you could go watch them and learn about foods and travel. But for some reason, like the work looks like I'm seeing some uh, stuff here. We got a new Josh Denny rant coming up. So we'll check that out after this. Yes. It's a breaking news day. We still haven't gotten to all the new developments today. Let's watch this. They're going to talk about the uh, the big breakup, and then we're going to get to Josh Denny. world just loves the idea of something crashing down. Oh. And they're like, wow, fucking or, breakup. Or, or maybe maybe you're looking at the glass half empty. Maybe, yeah. maybe look at it half full. Maybe like a rebirth. Were, maybe, no, Michael, maybe they're just so invested in your relationship, just like every other internet relationship, and they look wanted to nice. see what happened. They were sad. Just the, inter intrigued. the internet was sad. Bar they were not sad. And if the internet gets sad, the internet's crazy. We want to watch people make error. This is why reality TV came in uh, popularity. You know, people will lie about it. This is what people do when they want to watch people make mistakes, but they don't want to admit that to themselves or to the world. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love the Kardashians. I watch it because I love them. <laughs> right? Same with you. Oh, I love Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Let me hear more about her. Now, you want to watch somebody fail. You're too pussy to admit it. And then you got the guys on the other end of the going, people are sad. They really want to know, like, the reason our breakup video got the most views because people are really invested. In I hope not. I hope they're not invested <laughs> in your disgusting relationship with uh, urinal roads. They wanted to see what happened. They were sad. Just the, inter intrigued. the internet was sad. Barstool put out an article that said Amer America's internet. <laughs> they break internet a bottle with your both names on it? They're like, I yeah. <laughs> America's no. internet. They broke a bottle with both of your names on it. That's not a thing. Because he's thinking of Dave's champagne bottle that he's so oh, stupid. Oh, wow. Look at that. They broke a bottle of something. Barstool, maybe. Jenko rules now, Jenko actually wrote, we do not hate him. He's actually the best one out of this whole thing. And you'll see that today couple has broken up that saddened me that really saddened me a lot are you okay yeah i'm good i'm good i wish i wish uh i could say that th that it was as clean as that video made it sound you know what i'm saying because as you know there's always you, you always like anybody watching this who's in a relationship or has come out of one like you always think you know what the best thing is and a lot of times you're right but then sometimes like it just keeps poking. I, I don't know. It's well, never, like, your your brain is battling your heart. Right. And, it's and, emotions versus logic. Oh, God. 100%. <laughs> for example, like Cardi B today unfiled her divorce papers against Offset. <laughs> Yo, dude, that dismissed is her epic. Divorce. Dim dis dismissed them, bro. Those Yo, you can unfile from divorce? I got to call my team. <laughs> Set up an event. That's <laughs> literally this guy. <laughs> Susceptible Please. to everything. You could get divorced. <laughs> I should stage a divorce. No, no, you shouldn't. You're fine. It's not always about you. It's just like, you know what? Never like, mind. She Never was mind. so go, sure. Yeah. She was so fucking sure. Yeah. But that's why like, I don't like to talk shit about the other person. As you saw in this well, video, no, I was can't. very... Uh, oh, this gets uh, crazy. Wait till you clear. see this. 
that this was something that that existed within me um and and you know she's an absolutely incredible person has done absolutely incredible things for me to me for who um, she's done and, incredible uh, things so, to you. I don't you. know. Who knows what's gonna happen? I'm a never say never kind of guy, dude. I don't. I don't have the answers. Fuck yeah, say. never say never. That's pretty much like me. <laughs> me and you are one of the same. That's like a, I'll get messages from a listener who's like, dude, me and you, we're more similar than you think. I am a never say never type of guy, just like you. And I go, whoa, I am not a never say never type of guy. I say never a lot. All right. So that's just something you say to sound so cool. So seek. But I do know that it's happening across the board. There's a lot of breakups going on right now. Oh. Like our friend Harry Jowsey. Who's that? See, this our is friend. why Jenko rules. Just play a this very short lived relationship with It's Julia Rose. Oh, We're going to skip guys, on. I don't know how much this I want to get into right now. But there is, <laughs> this city is fucked. So Jenko, when Jenko doesn't know something, instead of like playing along, he goes, Who the fuck is that? Guys, come on. Who the fuck is that? Nobody knows. And they're like, Janko, chill, man. Everybody knows. <laughs> nah, not over here. All right, what do I skip to here? Oh, you didn't want to play this No, part? no. That's um, too much. You can go to 1630. 1630. Okay, and what happens here? Um, Just Janko and Mike talking a little bit more about Mike's relish. Okay, let's see what happens here. Actors that you don't have to necessarily deal with. No, well. I, I there understand. There are past, there I are all kinds of weird it. things. Was, I get it. But yeah. On both sides, to, Georgie. I We're a mess. And I'm not you trying fucking to make let me talk. Yeah. Uh -oh. I've had that relationship. Wait. Where I, <laughs> so we called this, you know, this Janko and Mike are going to be having some arguments here. So you heard, can you fucking let me talk? This is Rico and Mersh level. Bickering. You'll never hear me speak to Jules that way on the show. I get We're it. a mess. And I'm not you trying to make let me talk. Yeah. Whoa. I've had that relationship where I break up and get back and break up and get back and do this and do that. But you got to start taking time to realize it might be fucking you. And Whoa. It was, it was Watch me. this. Yeah. I had to sack it up. And for anybody listening, they're going to hate me for saying this, but I, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a quick track to get canceled soon, so I'll just might as well hop on that train. <laughs> I believe I might be old fashioned. I feel like a man in the relationship needs to be a leader, but doesn't mean it's worth more. I'm not saying the man's worth more. I'm Ooh. saying you got to lead with the example. A female has a lot of hormones. They're built this way. Whoa. If they're going off the wagon, respect it. Deal with it like a man. How? What? The, if two fuck. He studies the word of our king, Elliot Roger. <laughs> I just think like a girl should be, you know, like a slave, but not a slave. Now, I agree with everything you're saying. I treat Jules like a dog. All right. <laughs> I'm in charge. You want some food? Then you be nice. You be good. I say. <laughs> so let's hear this. Janko's pretty fucking uh, based, not woke. <laughs> What's the opposite of woke? Woke is nice. Based means you're evil. Right. But cool. So let's see what happens. Fucking couples are break, like freaking out every two seconds. To me, that's two chicks dating. Let me, that's not two let guys me tell you. So you, you well, have, you're right. So, so first of all, something wrong with two chicks dating? Or? Yeah, no, not at all. But yes. George, listen, quick trick to get canceled. This is it. This is me. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, Watch this. I'll speak for myself. There's a certain amount of ego that exists in a relationship between two. Listen to this. D-list pseudo celebrities, okay. <laughs> one who has every rapper in his in her fucking inbox and 13 million Instagram followers. The other Whoa, one. Whoa, wait! Your girlfriend has every black rapper in her inbox. She talks to them. You sit around. <laughs> Imagine if I was sitting around and you were talking to Two Chains. Well, you never know. Imagine you're sitting around. Talk about cocked. She's sitting there talking to who's that big fat uh best? Yes, I'm a monster, no blood bud sucker. Rick All you Ross? hear is rumble. Rick Ross. Yeah. Imagine you're trying to fuck your girlfriend. She's texting Rick Ross. Yikes. You might be <laughs> cocked. So my girlfriend has over a hundred black names in her phone. If Jules even had one black phone number in her phone, can you ring out a phone? Oh come on. You wouldn't have a phone. You'd be on Boost Mobile. <laughs> on the kids plan. Emergency only phone. Here. One who has every rapper in his in her fucking inbox and 13 million Instagram followers. And the other one who is, you know, a proud host of the number 
one, 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 86 one, podcasts one, it's one, it's in the world. One. Listen, what I'm getting at is this. Factors. Understand Listen. that certain relationships have more simplicity. I'm not saying your relationship's easy. I'm just saying I, I, I have not been as good. Me personally, she's done great. I have not Look been at this guy in the chat. Yep, and she fucked them all. <laughs> About the black rappers in the phone. Wow. Fat Joe, imagine Fat Joe coming over to your house. You mind if me and your girl use your bedroom for a little while, dog? As he pushes you away, and you can't even do anything. He's giant. So this is kind of the world Mike's living in. You know, some days Mike gets home. She's fucking eight or nine uh, athletes. If you catch my drift. Imagine walking home. Your wife's with a bunch of athletes. That's what I call black people now. I got to move out of the city. It's just uh, it's too, too many athletes. If you catch my drift. No, no, actually, you know what the other one you were saying what? was while we were watching The Bachelor? Yeah. <laughs> you go, these guys look like a bunch of nominees. Nominees. They guys, look wait. Like black Hold on. Grammy nominees. I got another word for fellas. Athlete. I think athletes is funny, though. Dude, my daughter. What's wrong, uh, George? Your daughter, uh, you know, having a little trouble in the dating world. Oh no, it's actually the opposite. She's uh, very um, well received by the athletes. If you catch my drift. Okay, so that's bad enough. This is what I call black people who are on a little upper level, and you've seen them. I'm sending you a picture. Of Show the me guy. a picture. You got to see this, because I come up with some funny names, dog. Guys, I sit around while others think about Trump. I come up with funny this things. This is why we have to do a bachelorette. That's too much. That's the full phrase. You got it. <laughs> Ugly ass dude. No. That's no, how you know some. Isn't not that any? crazy? Some people think any black guy is technically ugly. That's true racism. Yeah. There was a guy who goes, Kanye West is so ugly. And it's like, ugly? Every black guy looks cool. Yeah, he must not be named. He said must that. not be named, yeah. Uh, uh, let's you can see. keep playing here because I think that Mike gets mad at Jenko at the okay, end of Okay, let's clip. see. Yeah, there's a big fight coming up. Is you're saying I should be at navigating the insane waters that is a fucking internet relationship, which is why no matter what happens, I'm, I feel confident in saying I won't have a return to an, to a couple's channel. Wow. That, that adds an, an aspect. How long did you of, post the video before breaking, after oh, breaking up? How long? It was a little quick. It was a little quick. So immature. Hi, George, so fucking punch no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> See, Janko rules. Guys, immature. and I'm going to back that up because Janko goes. And, you know, Logan's smart enough to know, hey, you got to give your friend the lie. Janko goes, okay, tell me this, though. How long until after you break up did you post that video? And Mike goes, right away. And Logan goes, yeah, a little too soon. He goes, See, that's immature. And then Mike goes, all right, you want to fucking die? <laughs> so watch this. Mike ain't going to be called immature by short stuff, right? Dunkaroo. Let's see that again. This is big. That is a fucking internet relationship, big. which is why no matter what happens, I'm, I feel confident in saying I won't have a return to, an, to a couple's channel. That, that adds an, an aspect. How long did you of, post the video before breaking, after breaking up? How long? It was a little quick. It was a little quick. It was a little quick. Immature. So immature. Hi, George, so fucking punch no, me. No, 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 because right. I, there's another factor. Whoa. He's actually mad. And then he makes Mersh face, <laughs> where you show everyone your true emotions like a dog. You've been being snippy with me all night. You've been just fucking with me all day. Wish you were just stopping a prick. You're Mersh, bro. And Melton is Mersh, and Denny is Mersh. So it's you, Mersh, Mountain and Denny that give off the same vibe. That ain't a good group. All of you are ugly, too, by the way. And barely, I can't believe we've even accepted the four of you into our world, frankly. You're lucky you're even alive with the how ugly you four are. I'll tell you that right now. Mersh, Big Mike, Mountain and Denny, they all come from that same... You're a whiny, whiny little <laughs> bitch. You see that? Normal people don't act like this. This is how pissy bitches act. How long did you of post a video before breaking after breaking up? How long? It was a little quick. It was it a little was, quick. It was a little immature. So immature. Hi, George, so fucking punch no, me. No, 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 because right. I, there's another factor that you have to take into account. What? I, what? 
I probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's, it's not your relationship. Don't fucking relationship. go in. Here, here, here's here's what I was gonna say because you're right. Here we the go. Relationship will tell you. Uh, it, it'll tell you what's wrong with you. Hundred percent. A lot, lot of room for personal growth in relationships. I'm gonna steal this quote from our friend, our good friend, who you guys both know and love, Sud Guru. Ooh. I oh. saw this clip going viral on TikTok. Watch now this. I'm gonna steal it, and hopefully now I go viral on TikTok as if these were my words. Watch this. Look at Jacob. Bad breath one. I'm gonna say it. It's cr- okay. What? Listen. Let's say you don't brush your teeth for three days. I was so mad because Logan's about to do some bullshit metaphor simile thing that doesn't help anyone. And everyone knows he's going to do it. And they're like, oh, here he goes with the simile again. Guys, just because a quote sounds good doesn't mean it works. You know, the worst thing this world ever did was, uh, you know, give quotes so much power. Ever since George Washington came around, people are like, hey, if it's a quote, it's rule, it's law, it is not law, okay? Like when they go, Uh, you know, uh, uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. No, that's just a quote. It's not fact. It's not real. It's not law. But for some reason, Benjamin Franklin came up with it. You think, oh, I got to repeat this for all of life. No, sorry. So, at least your check goes, oh, here he is with another flat quote. (laughs) Here he is with another metaphor that doesn't relate to our lifestyle. All right, where do we go from here? Um, Next, you can go to 2735. This is a little aside where Evan comes out and tells a story about having sex. So, you say I'm 27 and I shouldn't be slacking, but I'm working harder than ever, and you could call me Macklin. Here comes the midget. This is Alex Jones was on the show. Goes, What's that over there? Come sit on my left, sonny boy. Come sit up here. Big man! It's a midget that lives with them, believe it or not. And look how they look. I hate this fucking midget. Every time he's on the screen, I get so hateful. Like, no one has said worse things about midgets than me. It's in, troubling. Really? Like, even back in the day, you won't find anybody because... Like midgets have, even as weird as they are, nobody's been as nasty to the midget race as me. I just go full to the end. I go, nope, not welcome. They go, not welcome. Usually people laugh at their height. That's about it. But you don't even want them. Right? Exactly. I'm very strict. So here's little Avin. Fresh out of his video game beanbag. Yes, he came out because they were talking about video games. He heard the <laughs> word game in video and he ran out like a kid on Christmas Day. He's a selfish, You're a whiny, whiny little, little bitch. bitch. That's what you are. Midgets have the selfishity of a kid. Midgets. And here's something you don't know about midgets. They're as cranky as a kid on Christmas who didn't get what he wanted. I was promised an entertainment system and this is just clothes. And you're like, dude, chill out. They still got you a gift. But midgets take that all the way into their adult lives. (laughs) They have that childlike selfishness, the spoiled rottenness of a kid. A midget will take that into his 40s. I've never met a midget that isn't spoiled rotten like a a Veruca Salt. (laughs) So let's hear what this little bitch has to say. And by the way, I'd like to fucking end midget verbally. Verbally. I'd like to end them because I don't like how they speak to me. Here. Him and Kyle were literally getting pissed. Dead shot straight every fucking time. I'm not going to lie. Look at him. Mike and I chatted. I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't know you golf. Or golfed. See, that's the thing. People like to sleep on the kid. (laughs) Don't ever sleep. Shut the fuck up, you bratty, spoiled bitch. So he's pretending he golfs now. He golfs. Oh, yeah? He golfs wherever I golf. Yeah, what course? (laughs) You know, the golf hole. Let's think about all the things in a golf world that he would love. The tee? That's a skyscraper to you. The little uh, marker that you use in the ground to mark your ball, that's a giant circular platform to you. The hole, a house to you. This kid looks like he's fucking four years old. Is it just me? 
Or am I dealing with a four-year-old asshole? <laughs> you know, just because you were born without legs doesn't mean I'm here. You might as well get an earring and start skateboarding. You got such an attitude here. Let's see what he says. Sleep on the kid. Don't sleep on the kid. Don't sleep on the kid. And then what happened? But yeah, then uh, then we went to Wolfgang Puck. Wolfgang Puck's restaurant. Wolfgang spot, Puck's restaurant. Oh. Met him, the dude. He was just chilling. Just yeah. chill uh, dude, you forgot to say it's mini golf. No, I didn't. Me and Tim Dillon know better than to use that. Right? I even stopped myself from saying that one. Only so me and Tim you know, Dillon. And it's hard for me to stop myself. But Mike, <laughs> how could you have not said mini golf? I don't know. I'm sorry for being such a uh, elitist around you guys, but I'm looking at the chat. Mini golf, though. Mini golf. Well, because he's a midget. Makes sense, I Makes guess. Makes sense, I guess. Guess we missed that. Let's find out. Chilling. Chilling there. That's crazy. Dope now I'm mad. I had the best food of probably I've ever had. The Wagyu. We had the, the A5 Wagyu. It fucking melted in my mouth. Yeah, $250. Oh, shut up. Steak, Everything melted. So. Yeah, 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 melted. Sex. Speaking of sex. Came back. Had sex. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! So he's saying he had sex. All right, well, then arrest whoever had sex with you. You know, there's something about this. Who's fuck? Seriously, if you're a girl and you're fucking a midget, you need to be psychiatrically evaluated. What are you doing? You clout chasing midgets now? You're fucking a midget? Really, that should be looked into. And Logan, I wouldn't let, you know, you think it's so funny. The girl sleeping over who banged your midget? You might want to look into. That's like if you had a girl over who was uh, fucking your fish. It's uh, very disturbing. We'll wait to hear his move that he performs. So he performs a move. Let's hear about it. Uh, Let's what go! A setup, what a setup. <laughs> what a way to end so, the uh, fucking audio, day. Yo, audio, yo, yo. But also, you discovered how to utilize your superpower. I believe every man Bipolar? has a superpower. It might take a little finesse to find it. I but, find my but Evan does this thing where I'll be sitting, sitting around after boxing and uh, he'll After come up boxing. and just start like massage, massaging oh. my shoulders. Oh, so oh my! It's I'm not even getting crazy. better than any masseuse I've I've ever had. Then spray him with ant raid. <laughs> if this guy came up to me, I'd take roach spray until he stopped. But it's the best massage you've ever had. No, get off my back, and then he stops slowly. You know. Are you allowed to spray this guy in the face with yard guard, or is that a crime? <laughs> Seriously. So he goes up to people, he starts massaging his owner. Out of my life, and he and he does it for his boys. He'll go up, give give you two for my two to four minute massage, and we're all just like, "Yo, your hands! You can't talk. How is yeah. it possible? No one ever talks." Well, he discovered that if he just utilizes that superpower with women, game over. Game Bro, it's a cheat code. It's a cheat code for a midget to give a massage to a girl? Imagine that. You're a girl out there and you go, what's on my back? You go, oh, sorry, that's my midget. Let him know. And then you fall in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. That's what I would say if I fell in love. I'm in love with the little midget. I'll go up to his bedroom. I'll adult size fuck him what do you do bend him over like a little child it's the only way i could see it being any fun <laughs> let's see what he says next massages in general are a cheat code imagine if you're well, good at that, it it's a different you're connecting on a, to that person on a different level too. Mm. you're like showing that because you because you, as you care oh, it's like a service yeah, yeah yeah and you're showing that like you just you're good with your hands showing love yeah yeah. That's fantastic. Well, congrats, yeah. dude. Thank Thank you. You. That's you should see uh, how he works a beehive as well. King of the beehive, too. Gets right in there. They think he's the queen. All right, Jules, we need another time code here. Wait for her to get back. There's Big Mike with his G-Unit shirt. That's Lloyd Banks in the uh, photo there. Oh, so he loves Lloyd Banks. He loves Lloyd. Oh, I love uh, Lloyd Banks. I heard him on that one song. Okay, we're going to go to 50. Get money or die lying. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, 5345. Mike wow. is just going to talk about a super intelligent convo he had. Okay, so this is puke inducing. These <laughs> guys are intelligent. Let's hear this. 
know of each other. It's like you know each other, whatever. And then she says she liked the podcast. I said you have to come on sometime. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, we gotta get her on. Well, yeah, yeah, I love when you meet people at these like posh parties. Because another one was the uh, the David Dobrik uh, pseudo girlfriend perfume, uh, Charlotte. Deal oh, 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 with the oh, apo- oh, with the oh. Apost- I the thought you were apostrophe. talking about Charlotte, yeah. North Carolina. No, there's an apostrophe. Dealessio, is that right? Yeah. She, I talked to her. I got a chance to meet her at this at the party. Talking she to was, a lot of girls, huh? Mike? Listen to this. Plutonically. <laughs> Plutonically. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. It's uh, not like you guys talked about anything meaningful. Guy.